Hi, this is Andy from Buzz Bushcraft. I've ordered off of eBay a 3-in-1 tripod from As All Sorts. Um, the cost was £29.95p and it's free postage and packaging. So it's just arrived, so I'm just going to see what it's all about. Okay, so it's packaged very nicely. What you get, oh, there's another bit. What you guys should get is three steel posts. Two of them have got the eyes on the end, and one of them has got a hook on the end. Also in the pack, you get a chain set and some instructions. Let's just dive in here. So in that little set, you get two pot hangers for when you're using it in the cross form. If you use it as a tripod, you get a tripod hanger with some chain to hang your your pots over the fire etc. So I'm just going to set this up and see what I think to it. The option one using the three legs as a traditional tripod. I've got on there my 10 litre Dutch oven just to give it a try and it is extremely solid and seems to be well put together. This is the option two just straddling across the fire pit. Um, I do notice there's a little bit of bend in the top rod but I've got it at full extension and again I've got my 10 litre cook pot on the top there, my Dutch oven so it's giving it a little bit of bend but nothing major Free, just using it as a hanger over the top of the fire again it's got a little bit of flex in it or bend but that straightens out as soon as you take the pot off but probably not recommended for hanging something quite as heavy on this probably more ideal suited for just the kettle In my shed, um, I took the three in one tripod down the woods last night. I shot myself a rabbit and decided to put it on the, as a, on a spit roast. Problem I found was that as I turned the spit, the rabbit just um, spun round and stayed in the same spot. So I've decided to come in my shed today, just drill myself four holes into the actual cross member of the tripod, thereby I'll be able to put some wire through it to secure the rabbits, pigeon, pheasant, where it happens to be, and thus get a nice cook on it. So I'm just going to drill the centre bar for mounting game on it. First of all I'm going to put a little flat spot in the four points I've decided to put the holes in just to make sure the drill doesn't slip. Then obviously just mark your spots with a punch or an automatic punch, whichever you prefer. This just puts a little spot on there so the drill has got somewhere to guide to. So I'm using a pillar drill, but you don't need to use a pillar drill. You can do it as well with a hand drill, as long as you've got a vice to sort of hold it securely. Okay guys, what I've done is drilled the four holes three inches apart which now means that when I put a um, 
old coat hanger through the hole I can bend it and then slip me chicken, rabbit, whatever on there evenly rather than just spinning on the stake.